Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's actually like three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's morning to you. Good day or evening or night. Hello. Welcome to Tea and Lit. Um, today's video is going to be my January TBR. I know that I try to do themes. Um, I don't really have a theme this month, uh, which sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> One of the books I do not have, uh, it's at my library, so we'll just talk about it. Um, but for our book this month, we are going to be reading The Iliad by Homer. This is our group read for the month, so this will be getting a discussion um, later in the month. So please join us, read The Iliad, and let's talk about it. It's uh, one of Homer's great epics where it tells the story of, let's see, it's the story of uh, Troy and... Helena. The Greeks and the Trojans War. Use your brain. Maybe you do need some tea. Tells the story of the Greek and Trojan War. Um, and I've never read it. So we should probably do that. I do know that um, Achilles is our main character. And that'll be interesting to see his story this way because I feel like I like have heard a lot about Pericles Pericles she says because she's about to film her Pericles video <laughs> um read a lot read a lot about Achilles um but I haven't actually read the Iliad by Homer I've just read like I don't know adaptations of it I guess or seen movies and adaptations I don't really know how I've consumed the story of Achilles in the past but it'll be fun to read the Iliad by Homer uh I don't think Keith has read this I'm not sure. I want to say he has. I know he's read the Odyssey because we've talked about it. And at some point we will be reading the Odyssey, which is probably irrelevant to you at this moment because this month we're reading the Iliad. Okay, back to the point. Um, the other book that I will be picking up at my library is called Silence of the Girls. Uh, it was one of the Dark Academia book club books last year. And also it is an, a retelling of the Iliad from Bryce's, Brucey's. Rice's um, point of view, which is uh, Achilles' concubine. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that works. Spoiler alert, I've already read it and I didn't like it. <laughs> um, because it is midwinter, I thought it would be wise if we read A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare, as our Shakespeare play this month. Because why not? Uh, also, like, I don't know about you guys. I do think I have seasonal affective disorder. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... But I want to read like some nice cozy reads and some like encouraging fun reads this month. So I've got The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, which I think is a children's book, but that's okay. Um, and it's about a garden, I think. Maybe? I like gardens. I have been planning my garden, so we'll see how that goes. Next up is The Call of the Wild and White Fang. I think I read The Call of the Wild years and years and years ago. I don't remember. Um, and it just came out with a movie like a couple years ago with Harrison Ford. So maybe we'll read this and watch the movies. We'll see. And then, of course, Little Women. And again, I have not watched the recent movie that came out of Little Women. It's a beautiful, beautiful story of sisters. It's a little heartbreaking at times, but it's a beautiful story and a powerful female story written by Louisa May Alcott. I didn't say The Call of the Wild and White Fang are written by Jack London. Um, and so I am looking forward to picking this book up again because I think this, depending, here's the thing that I have found. Sometimes when we go through these books, I don't love them. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes we read through these and sometimes I need a free book. And so I feel like Little Women is going to be my free book. I know it's a book that I've enjoyed, so it's gonna be fine. The other Shakespeare play that we might read, I don't know for sure, is Hamlet. And this is a great book. But um, my little smarty pants is reading this for school and I told him to let me know when he's gonna read it for school because I wanna read it with him and to like get his perspective. He is 14 years old um and so it'll be 13 how old is he something bad is happening outside I don't know if you can hear the sirens um 
I've nannied for his family for years. Um, and that is my smarty pants. It's not like I don't know the age of my own kid. Um, but I think he's 13. I think he's 13. Um, but he's reading this for school. And so I would kind of like to read it with him and talk to him about it. So I may read this, but Keith and I also wanted to read it together. So maybe I'll wait. I don't know. But I will probably definitely get to A Midsummer Night's Dream, which is a Shakespeare comedy. And it's like a silly, fun, like, it's got fairies and cool stuff in it. So who doesn't love fairies, right? I know I do. Anyway, this is my January TBR. It's a little scatterbrained and I'm sorry it's not thematic. I do like having the themes. We did the Victober theme, we did the dystopian theme. I do like a good theme. And then in December we read lots of modern books, lot modern fantasy books because I needed to catch up on what I had been reading earlier in the year. I needed to finish some series. So, oh, and back to the point, uh, Sarah J. Mayas' new book is coming out this month. So I'll probably end up picking that up at some point. So. We'll see how this month goes. I hope you guys have a great reading month. I'm obviously not sounding very excited about my reading month, so we'll see what happens. But we'll definitely be talking about the Iliad and at least one Shakespeare play. It'll be Hamlet or Midsummer Night's Dream. I don't know which one. Okay.